Hello everyone. Welcome to today's session. Today we are going to learn about Marquee element. So what is Marquee element? It is used to scroll your text or image horizontally or vertically. So uh, you want to scroll your image or text up, down, left, right automatically. If you want when the website opens, some text should come from some other side. Some text should from come up or down. If you want something like that to happen, then you use Marquee element. So how Marquee element works is you use tag called Marquee. You, <coughs> you open the Marquee tag, you put some content inside it and then you close your Marquee tag. Now there are several attributes of Marquee element. So let's look at each attribute. First is behavior. Now it is going to set the behavior of Marquee element. So there are three types. One is scroll, slide and alternate. How you want your text to behave. That is uh, the attribute used is behavior. Then we direction. In which direction you want your text to move. You want it to go left. You want it to go right. You want it to go up. You want it to go down. It sets the directions. Width. It defines the width of the marquee element. Same for the height. It is going to define the height of marquee element. Now edge space. So edge space defines horizontal space in pixels around the marquee. How much horizontal space should be there around the marquee that is defined by edge space. Then V space. Uh, it defines the vertical space around the marquee. Scroll delay. How much delay you want in the how many seconds after it should start playing. That depends on scroll delay. You can change it using scroll delay. Then scroll amount. It defines scroll amount in number. Then we have looped. It defines loop for RQ content in numbers. How many times you want it to loop. And BG color that defines background color. Now HTML scroll mark you how it works. Now when you just directly use mark you. What happens is it is going to scroll the text on the screen. Okay. So, it is going to start from one corner and go to another corner. So, how it is written? First, you write mark you width. You write the behavior you want it to scroll. And then you change the background color. This is the example of scroll. Then you can do same for the slide. You can try to execute this codes. I am going to show you different using attributes. So, that you have all the codes of mark you. Now direction, how do you specify direction? Using direction attribute, you put in which direction you want text to start scrolling. Thank you. Let's move to the practical part. Okay, I have already written the basics of HTML code. The basic structure is already created. Now we will start executing the element. Now first let's do the simple example, very basic one that is mark you. You create the mark you and you write this is mark you element and you close your mark you tag. Now I'll go to the Google Chrome. I'll refresh. Can you see it is coming from this side? It's scrolling. I'll show you for all the directions how the text is moved. Now let's start. I'll give a heading upper direction. Then we have mark you width equal to let's give I'll give 50%. We can give anything depends what you want. Then you will give direction. Now I have written upper direction. So I'm going to write up as my direction. I'll specify the height. Let me give it as 100 pixels. So, we will write here, this is sample scrolling text that scrolls in upper direction. Mark you. Let me run and show you. You can see how the text is going up. You can change the width, height, property the way you want it to be. 
now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same code for downward direction. Down direction. Down. You can see the text is coming down from the top. Now we are going to try the same thing for the other side. Consider let's do left to right. So I am going to write here left to right. So we will write right as the direction. So it will start from the left and go towards the right. I want it to go towards the right. That is why my direction is right now. That scrolls in. Towards right direction. Let me save this and let's check the output. It is going towards the right coming from the left. Now we will do right to left. Right to left. And we will give the direction as left. You can see it's coming from right and going towards the left. Now we will see how we set the scrolling speed. I'll give h2 tag and I'll write scrolling speed. So what we do is we will see the behavior also. Consider I'll give behavior as scroll. I'll give direction is equal to up and scroll amount is equal to 1. So this is slow scrolling. I'll close the mark queue. Let me run it and show. You can see it's going slowly. So I gave behavior as, see I'll show you attributes. We gave behavior as scroll. Let me use slide and show you. Slide. You can see it's sliding and stopping there. So I'll keep it scroll again. So now we have done the slow scrolling. I'll show you little fast scrolling. How you change the numbers, how it works. Let me show you. So we have given the direction up in the first. Now I'll give right. We will make scroll thing. Let's make it 11. And this we will add as little fast scrolling. Little fast scrolling. Let me do for all the directions and sh show you the output. We will do. Sorry, I forgot to copy this. Okay. Now, let's keep the direction as left. Now, I will give this as the number consider 21. I will name this as fast scrolling and after this what I am going to do is I will keep the direction right only now. I will give the number as 52 and this is very fast scrolling. Very fast scrolling. Let us run and check. So this is slow scrolling, little fast, fast and you can see very fast how it is moving. 
you can see the difference in the all elements. So we have learned mark you elements for all the four directions, for all the four behaviors. And then we have also learned about uh, behavior and the scroll amount. Hope the mark you element is clear for everyone. Thank you so much.